Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Today we're talking about Marvel vs. Capcom, the Fighting Collection Arcade Classics, and I'm going to be reviewing it on the Switch. So basically this game gives you access to some really all-time fighting game classics that you would only be able to access, you know, at an arcade or something like that, and now it's available to you on the Switch and also other consoles as well, but, you know, I'm reviewing it on the Switch. Now, um, so these seven games, so you got X-Men Children of Adam, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, which is Clash of Super Heroes, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes, and of course, the beat-em-up, The Punisher. So The Punisher is the only game that's not like an actual tra traditional fighting game. And basically The Punisher is your side-scrolling beat-em-up game. Um, very violent. <laughs> you wouldn't probably find a newer game like this nowadays, but it's great they included it because, you know, I was having a little bit of fun with it. Now, real one thing that really makes this arcade collection special is the amount of love and care they put into this. So each of these seven games is complete with the museum. So you see different art, you know, from the conception of the game and you know, different art that no one's ever seen before. And it's very high res art. So, you know, it's really cool. And not only that, they added a soundtrack for all seven games. So you can, you know, while you're waiting for a match, you know, you're queuing online, uh, you can, you know, listen to the different songs from the various games. And overall, it's just, you know, so much care was put into this. They even added achievements, so fighter awards. So, you know, beat the game with Wolverine, for example, and you'll get a medal. So they add some progression to it. But overall, in this collection, I probably spent the most time with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, that game is just an absolute classic. I used to drop hundreds of hours of that on the original Dreamcast. So I'm kind of aging myself a bit. But let me tell you, this game, like, okay, the graphics aren't anything special. I mean, the game doesn't look bad. You have your 3D backgrounds and you got your 2D sprites. Uh, it looks visually appealing. It's more so the speed and fast-paced battles which make this game special. Honestly, back in the day, you probably had nothing like it. Uh, just the fast-paced 3v3 combat. And you know, you have 56 characters and they all synergize differently. And it's really cool to experiment and try out different compositions with different three characters. So like I said, um, you know, different characters complement each other. So it's good to try out different things. But obviously, the one thing about this game, it's not balanced. <laughs> Let's be honest here. You have Storm, the characters like Storm, Sentinel, and Magneto, who are just on a whole other level. Um, but then again, that being said, you know, just there's a huge skill gap in this game, and that's what makes it special. You have people have been playing this for many years, and they could use, you know, the worst characters and probably beat, you know, any anyone else uh, using any composition. So, uh, it's a very skill based game. And that being said, like the online in this game is probably one of the best fighting game online um, on the Switch. It's just the, the net code is so smooth. And it, another thing that's really special about these games and, you know, most notably Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is just the great cast of characters. You have your favorite X-Men characters, you know, your favorite Capcom characters. You've got Mega Man, Ryu. I just love the cast of characters in this game. And, uh, you, you know, you're really going to have fun, like I said, trying out different compositions of characters and, you know, trying out their assist attacks and a lot of fun in general. And it's really fun to play casual ranked online. Um, right now, most of the players are playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's just the standout game in the collection. But you know, nothing to say anything else about the other games. The other games are great. It just Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, like honestly... If you're a fighting game lover and you haven't tried it out, it's one of those games you have to experience. It's just the fast paced nature of it. Um, I would almost consider it like the um, Super Smash Bros of its time, right? So, um, but, and it's still aged beautifully. Uh, that again, you know, it's, uh, it's a great collection overall. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. If you're looking for a fun, you know, fighting game, just to, you know, drop lots of hours with lots of different characters, um, this is this is a great option, and it's on the Switch on the go. It's it just works perfectly on the Switch, um, and they also added some other you know additions as well. So you can have different filters because you know the graphics back then you know they might not appeal to your your nowadays, right? So there's different filters you can put on um, to make it look better. But I like the original normal style um, personally. Uh, that's just me. Uh, but so they added different filters and you know different quality of life improvements 
Um, you can play like the Japanese or English version, um, and there, there's some minor differences in between the two. But honestly, it's just really good to see, you know, a great fighting game like this on the Switch. I find so many of the fighting games, like, you know, I'm going to be quite honest, Super Smash Ultimate is pretty much the only fighting game I've been regularly playing on the Switch. So it's great to, you know, add one more. And this is going to definitely be a lot of fun. You, know, you have some friends over and just, uh, you know, have fun with that. So, uh, yeah, just didn't want to go for a very long review. Just want to give my quick thoughts on, on the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection great game overall highly recommended to anyone who loves fighting games and just trust me on this if you like fighting games and you haven't tried marvel vs capcom 2 this is definitely going to be worth the money especially on the switch on the go it's perfect so really happy about this one and if you like my quick review here please feel free to check out my channel and consider subscribing your support means a lot and we'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>